I'm here with Ken Trapp. He's going to tell us all about his company, Salmon River Solutions. Gavin you here from ultimatereloader.com. I'm here with Ken Trapp from Salmon River Solutions. Thank you, Ken, for coming by. Yeah, glad to be here. Yeah, so Salmon River Solutions makes some totally kick-ass specialty accessories and products for lightweight hunting rifles and precision shooters. Tell us about how this company came to be. It's only been a couple of years. Yeah, um, essentially I just saw kind of a gap in the market for certain hunting products. I've been hunting my whole life, so I was just kind of put two and two together. Being a machinist for 10 years, I've always wanted to have my own company. So yeah, two and two equals four, and <laughs> four is me starting a business, I guess. That's awesome. It is a small world in the precision rifle industry. Just this morning, I realized your dad worked with Bruce and Daryl Tom in the mold making industry. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> way back in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> and I have a separate video coming up about some of Bruce's early work. In fact, it's, it turns out that Bruce Tom chambered this rifle right here. Is that right? Yeah, he built this one for me. Yes. And that's another video that I have coming up is a complete walkthrough of Bruce Tom's chambering process, his philosophy, his machine shop, his equipment, and the whole thing. Okay, back to Salmon River Solutions. So 2020, you basically make a transition in your career. Tell us about how that got started. So, I mean, it kind of all started around just one initial design I had in mind. I made that part and thought I could probably try selling it. Um, and, and which part was that? Uh, the Arca Plus Pick Rail. It's an integrated mm -hmm. Arca and Pick Rail with a sling stud, just kind of all designed into one. And then I was kind of like at a dead end where I was working. I wanted to branch out and have my own business. And my dad just happened to be retiring and selling his machine shop. <laughs> so Good timing. Yeah, we ended up uh, getting a really good deal except I'm pretty sure because he's my dad, I had to pay more because <laughs> that's usually how it works out. Um, Is that like the harsh little league dad that's like making you run faster and prove yourself more? <laughs> yeah, pro yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Rather yeah. than the entitled spoiled kid. <laughs> yeah, so um, we, uh, we were able to purchase that mill. Uh, my business partner had a, a shop out behind his house and that's where we are now and we're up to three CNCs and yeah, make a lot of different parts now. Yeah, and that combo rail, that Ken just mentioned. We just did a video on that actually on our Bergara 6.5 PRC. We put that on and you know now we can run pick or we can run Arca on the bottom or or swivel stud type yeah, stuff. Yeah, either too. or. That's the yeah. uh, that's the refined adaptation because we did <laughs> we did a full length rail. The short one is our is like the original one that that was like one of the first parts I really designed uh, that I used out in the field myself. Yeah. So. That is awesome to be able to take your trade and to become an entrepreneur, you know, based yeah. on that trade and, and to come up with, you know, different products. So let's, let's talk about kind of the DNA of the company. You know, you guys partnered together. The, when you design a product, you know, when you bring something to market, kind of what does that look like and what values do you guys embody? So, I mean, the first thing I'm going to look at, if I, I shoot, I hunt, I'm going to see a need for a product, I'm going to sit down, probably discuss it with my business, my, with my business partner, um, other people I shoot and hunt with and say, hey, do you think this is a good idea? Mm -hmm. And then literally in a day, I could, I could take that idea, design it, program it, fixture it, and have that part in my hands that day. Wow. You know, it's the beauty of CNC machines. Yep. But so if I were using SolidWorks or something like that, or uh, we did we did just get SolidWorks, and yep. uh, besides that, we just have a couple of CAD CAM combo softwares that we, we okay. use. So when that whole process, if you want to call it the napkin sketch, and then <laughs> the solid model, and then the prototyping, and then you know the finished product, you know, what's your favorite of of all of those you know processes? It usually starts out with like wild enthusiasm for like, <laughs> I have an idea and then you'll come across just like a small hiccup, like I don't think it's gonna work. Yep. And then uh, you get, usually I'll take a little bit longer on designs and it'll be like, think think it through. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times it's like, 
I get put down because it's like it's not coming out how I wanted it to. It doesn't look how I wanted or doesn't perform how I wanted. And then like I'll get, get excited about it again, finish the design, have an actual product, and then mm -hmm. yeah, there's there's a lot of steps to it. And there's like you know I go from like super excited to like ah, uh, and then yeah, <laughs> just keep working at it, and you get a good product, and then you're happy at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's cool that you're able to get your product out so quickly and get feedback from people. I know that you've done that with me and looking forward to continuing to do that because yeah. uh, you know, that iterative process and, and to have that complete in-house capability means that you can innovate very, very rapidly. That's really cool. Yeah. And you don't have the corporate bosses to answer to. So if you feel like doing something <laughs> and Zach yeah. likes the idea, right? You just do yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> like coming here for the whole day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally love it. Um, yeah, so uh, tell me about when customers want something specific or have an issue, how does that play into your business model? I mean, we always do our best to put the customer first. Uh, there's been instances if somebody says they think it's going to fit their gun, there's a slight modification it needs or something, I just, I, they ship it back to me, I make a slight change, a little machine work or something, send it back to them mm -hmm. so, it, so it'll actually work for them. Um, you know, I try to support shooters and hunters the best I can because, yeah, seems like where I was getting beat up on lately. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The community is a super important aspect of that. Okay, let's walk through the product categories, starting with brakes. Okay, so, yeah, we make a lot of titanium brakes. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think in my whole career, I've made two brakes that weren't titanium. Wow. So I don't mess with steel. We don't mess with <laughs> aluminum. Um, but yeah, it's awesome to make uh, good performing brakes that are ultra light because they're mm -hmm. titanium. Um, so yeah, to start with, I mean, you can see we go from really big to mm -hmm. really small. We make the two lightest self-timing brakes on the market. Mm -hmm. um, we have a ton of thread options, a ton of bore options. And I mean, we go Two ports, five ports, four ports, kind of everything mm -hmm. in between. Um, Speaking of the lightest self-timing option, the 22 GT build that you saw here on the channel, I think, if I remember correctly, 1.4 ounces, something like that? I think it's about around there, yeah. And I, I, I run that same exact brake on my, my 22 also. I mean, ridiculously light. When you're holding it in your hand, it's like it's not even there. And then when you think about the, as long as you've got good ear pro, right, while yeah. you're hunting, uh, when you think about the advantages of having the brake, mindset and confidence, right? Yeah. If you know that the the world's biggest torrent is not gonna be unleashed on your shoulder, you yeah. know, it, it puts you into a different mindset. And then of course, to see what happened and for follow-up shots, right? Just like when you're in a PRS match. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's a really great capability. And actually on that note, a part of this visit is we're gonna put some of these brakes on the Ultimate Reloader Recoil Rig. That's that rig that samples at 20,000 force readings per second. And we're gonna see exactly what happens between a bare muzzle and different brake configurations. Same ammunition, same rifle. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you're subscribed and check out that video when that gets released. Okay, back to the brakes all up. Quite a lineup here. Yeah, I mean, we make something that will, I mean, self-timing and gunsmith install, we pretty much make something that can work for any gun out there. Mm -hmm. um, Gavin's holding the Typro Heavy. It's called so cool. Heavy. Um, it's not heavy. It's, I think, 3.3 <laughs> ounces. Yep. I mean, it's, it's literally not much. <laughs> yeah, and then right next to it is the Typro Tiny, yep. and that's 0.7 ounces. Wow. But you wouldn't believe how well it reduces recoil for such a tiny break. Yeah. That's absolutely, absolutely crazy and insane. Yeah. And then, I mean, the two, the two pictured right here, mm -hmm. those technically require a gunsmith install because they have to be timed to the, have the ports uh, horizontal to your gun. Mm -hmm. These are all self-timers. We make the Typer 3 self-timer. That's the chub. Uh, the Typer 2 self-timer, Typer 1 self-timer, and the little chub. So self-timer as in you can get that break uh, grab some blue Loctite and just with a crescent mm -hmm. wrench you mm -hmm. can install that brake in under a minute yourself. Yep, and we've covered both here in the channel. Like I said, the, the Chubb self-timer we've got on the 22 GT and as a part of that, that rifle build. 
And then as a part of the upgrades for my 6.5 PRC, we have the Gunsmith install, Type Pro 4 port here. And then uh, we also had, I think, a couple different rail installs. Mm -hmm. We had the, the short Arca rail on the 6.5 PRC. That was in a different stock for that video, but that's the yeah. barreled action here. And then, of course, the combo, which I already mentioned, which is a part of the Bergara 6.5 PRC yeah. upgrade. So lots, uh, lots of different brake options. And yes, mostly focused at ultra lightweight hunting. By the way, what do you and Zach like to hunt? You guys are in, you, you're in Idaho. Where does Zach live? Uh, Zach's in Washington. Okay. He doesn't hunt. That means I get to take hunting season <laughs> off. It's a good business that's, partner to that's, have. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Someone's got to be there, yeah. right? To answer the phones and no, ship product. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> so I get to take hunting season off. Cause okay. So what do you hunt then? Uh, mainly elk and deer. Um, pronghorn if I ever draw a tag. Gotcha. So uh, this fall, if you're hunting elk, what cartridge? Uh, a bow. <laughs> a bow. <laughs> That's even quieter. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't draw the elk tag I was trying to get this year. Well, let's say that you did, so, and you were going to hunt elk with a set proper center fire weapon. Um, <laughs> so certain spots we go to, I'm going to take this one. It's Kay. my 300 Norma improved. I mean, it's like my mile long gun. Okay. But we got spots that I'm not going to pack it into because it's really heavy. Mm -hmm. So like spots that we sit in glass, I'm going to take this one. Otherwise, um, I just had a 300 rum built we're gonna okay. put in a in a folding chassis you don't mess around do you <laughs> i have a lot of 308s yeah yeah, yeah. that's totally awesome yeah. okay now why don't we go on to rails that's the other major product category for srs yeah so we make we make a bunch of rails too we make the lightest smallest arca rail in the market it's called the arca mini a lot of people like to mount that right in close to the magazine well get mm -hmm. it right in your balance point Mm -hmm. And then it doesn't protrude far enough, so you can still carry your gun pretty comfortably. Mm -hmm. Besides that, we make yeah a bunch of different kinds of rails. We also make Picatinny rails, just standard, basic Picatinny rails. Something I do like to highlight, though, a lot of our rails do have that center cutout. I think you show it in yeah. the, the video install for this one. Yep. So if you have a rounded profile on on your forend, essentially, yes. it's going to sit right in there. Yeah, and there's a, a lot of a lot of stocks that. If you look along the entire forend, it's going to change from, you know, slightly rounded. Mm -hmm. And then by the time you get all the way back, it's going to change to a flat. So there is a, a, a center section in uh, all of our rails, except the tactical ones, hmm. that lets it transition from uh, the rounded section to the flat section. Yeah. So you have better points of contact. So it's not going to rock around. Exactly. Yeah. And so this is, you've got sort of more conventional... Arca, that's going to be Arca all the way back. This yep. has that same cut that you're just talking about. Yeah, that's okay. our full length Arca. The combo, which has the, the pick section on there as well. These are yep. very lightweight. Is that what this uh, machining on the back is about? Yeah, so it's uh, we make our rails out of 7075, which uh, mm -hmm. isn't really industry standard. Everybody uses 6061. Mm -hmm. But because we use 7075, uh, it's 60% uh, more rigid. Nice. In 6061, so we're able to uh, cut weight quite a bit more, but retain that uh, rigidity to uh, get a good clamp on it. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the shorter options. And, and I actually yep. really like this Mini, because yeah. if you just have an Arca bipod, for instance, and you want it to be quick on, quick off, it's really kind of hard to beat Arca for that. And, and here at Ultimate Reloader, actually, we've pretty much gone 100% over to Arca, unless we have yeah. something like, like this Henry lever gun back here, where we need yeah. to just quickly attach a Harris style bipod. We're ARCA all the way, as you can see back here. <laughs> yeah. So totally love that. Um, yeah. So if you want to know more about the rails all up, we're going to have a dedicated video on that as well. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. And then there's some other products. Tell us about those. We've just been kind of slowly branching out into uh, new products as I start shooting more. Uh, started shooting 22 LR competitions. Mm -hmm. um, my buddies and I needed four end weights, so I designed and started making and selling four end weights, so we mm -hmm. do sell those. Um, and then we just started making some uh, titanium bolt knobs. That actually, they're kind of designed around the bad actions. They're, they taper and have the same threads as the bad oh, cool. actions. Mm -hmm. I know they work with uh, the Bregaras and the Sig Cross and a couple other guns out there. Nice. Yeah. 
and uh, I know you guys are constantly innovating, so <laughs> we're going to probably expect to see some more cool bits and bobs, huh? Yeah, there's uh, definitely some uh, some cool stuff coming. Keep an eye out for a two-piece titanium scope rail. Ooh. I think that'll be a good one. Nice. Yeah, I'll definitely want to try that one out. So if you want to know more about these products, of course, check out those videos that I said. We're going to have the dedicated video on the brakes with some recoil analysis. And then, of course, the rails all up. We're going to have more cool build stuff. Our question for you is, what do you think about these Salmon River Solution products, the ones that are existing, or maybe even stuff that you'd like to see SRS branch out into? Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. Thank you, Ken, for coming out. Yeah, of course. We're having a lot of fun today, and the content definitely is going to be reflecting that. Yeah. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're going to want to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.